Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to discuss about AWS Solution Architect Professional Certification, which is newly launched. It means like new version of the certification SAP C02 is launched and you can start appearing for this exam from 15th November 2022 onwards. Till 14th November 2022, you can appear for the previous version of SAP C01 certification exam. As part of this learning, we have started preparing the course content for the same certification material. And as an initial launch, we started to create an FAQ section for that certification. So we have prepared around 30 plus FAQ for the certification exam, which you need to go through and you can download this PDF from this URL as well. So this URL we I will be posting on below of the video as a hyperlink. So you can download this PDF as well, which is open to everybody. So once you download this PDF, you can go through the questions and uh, FAQ about this certification exam. So just let me go through. I'll not go through all 32 question and answers. You can download this PDF and you can go through this. So this is the new certification. Previous certification was known as SAP C01. Now this is the new version of the certification SAP C02. As I mentioned previously, the last date of this exam uh, SAP 01 is 14th November 2022. If you are appearing for this certification after this date, then you have to go for the SAP C02 certification. So this is uh, Amazon as you are aware like AWS is very fast growing uh, cloud platform. Uh, relatively every cloud platform is going uh, similar speed uh, and but AWS changes their technology quite a lot uh, in past one or two years. So, so they want to change their certification which they were previously conducting and the, their co certification content should be as per their latest technology solutions that on they are providing it. So as mentioned, like this is the same exam with the 180 minutes uh, to complete the exam and uh, the price as currently as per their website is 300 USD but for various discounts or any other thing, you should always check the Amazon website. There would be around 75 question, but the challenge here is like out of 75 question, only 65 question you would be evaluated and rest 10 questions would be uh, just for experiment pur purpose, which is uh, not good uh, because this is not transparent which 10 questions are not being scored and you spend time on that so uh, but you we don't have any control on that so let's uh, consider this you have to cover all 75 questions because you are not aware which question would be scored or not scored but only 65 question would be scored and there would be total 1000 points uh, across all 65 questions every question should have a different points and for to pass this exam you need to score 750 out of 1000 points so you remember the question is not equal weightage every question has a different weightage uh, so then uh, you may not be exactly 75% question you have to complete or kind of thing. But let's keep the criteria you at least cover 75 to 80% questions correct to pass this exam. Uh, Amazon has their own way to calculate the weightage for the exam uh, scoring. So they mentioned clearly 750 is a clear score which you need to uh, get to pass this certification exam. On the broad level, they are going to test this four domain which does which is very very abstract which does not give any detail about this what they are going to actually uh, ask uh, on this uh, kind of thing. But they have provided the detail level statement later uh, in this uh, same PDF we are going to cover. So this is very uh, like if you are an experienced architecture architect then you can understand what does this mean basically but this this does not ha help a much more much of the time but if you go to the later section of this pdf where we uh, which amazon provided the detailed description against each goal uh, and objective and what they are going to cover it then you can uh, focus your study as well so uh, and there are like previously very long back uh, Amazon was asking you to complete your associate level exam first then only you can appear for the professional certification exam but this is not uh, true anymore you can appear in any order for this certification exam this is a professional level exam certainly one of the toughest exam from the Amazon you need a highly extensive or exhaustive knowledge about the AWS services so and to pass this exam you need a very good understanding of the AWS technologies. As Hadoop exam have 
in this industry for since 2012 and almost 10 years we have completed and more than 2 lakh students have used our paid as well as free course content across all the websites we have multiple uh, websites as well but the primary website you can use hatubexam.com uh, to access all the material so soon we would be coming up with the question and answers for the certification exam so currently uh, this is only FAQ is available but you can always visit hadoopexam.com and go to releases and update sections to check what releases are recently being done by the Hadoop exam so you can see like uh, what is being launched on a particular day so this is quicktechie.com as I mentioned previously we have more than one websites where you can uh, like access your material as well so here all the details about the uh, what is being launched by the Hadoop exam is provided here on date by date basis. So that is one option. Second option is like you can go to the Amazon AWS menu section here and then click on this and you can uh, get the detail about the what uh, certification preparation or training material is available. So you can click on the respective image from here and you can launch the certification exam. So this is how you can access the material from hadoopexam.com and then uh, this certification is very very useful if your career plan is technical architect solution architect or enterprise architect let me tell you like just doing aws professional level certification does not make you an enterprise architect you would be a solution architect only for aws technologies you must have a wider knowledge broad knowledge across various technology to become an enterprise architect in fact you need to have a multi cloud knowledge like popular leader in the industry like uh, Google uh, which is becoming a uh, very very powerful cloud solution provider then Azure then AWS so this all you have basically the concept remain underlying same you just need to how to use their tools and uh, designing this knowledge you should gain uh, to become a cloud enterprise architect then other than cloud enterprise architect you need should be able to design a solution in various technology whether it's a especially object oriented concepts you should be aware because most of the programming languages follows the object oriented concepts like java uh, which is most popular programming language even though python is fighting but uh, java is still prominent here and uh, and would remain as per my understanding and then python is obviously data science machine learning side becoming very very popular then c sharp uh, is uh, another object oriented programming language even various web technologies are object oriented based so your fundamentals of object oriented concept should be clear to become an enterprise architect then networking how to build a networking solution how to design a network uh, you must know that then moving to the big data world you need to know how to big data system works how data solutions should be provided then very critical aspect of every whether it's a software or non-software industry security correct you must be knowing how to implement security solutions like ssl uh, based pki public key infrastructure you must be able to understand the what is a public key private key key management solution on the security aspect so we would be providing more detailed courses around this subject so you would be following uh, hadoopexam.com and uh, uh, will uh, give you all uh, this stuff to make become uh, like to make you at either technical architect based on your under, uh, uh, interest then solution architect then enterprise architect correct so this is what you must be able to understand the differences between this three what exactly it is correct so this is what uh, as part of our this solution we have also launched a domain driven design or software uh, architecture design which is more popular recently when microservices based architecture is being developed so you can go through this training as well as part of this then ebook for learned cryptography which security domain which we have recently launched and we would be soon coming for the training as well for this so now if you want to uh, target your career path toward the CTO or chief technology officer chief information officer or chief data officer then this all stuff is very critical and having this knowledge and going through this training again and again is very very critical because you can't remember everything in one shot you have to regularly go through this you have to make a habit at least five to ten hours study in a week for a, for this software technologies and learning new uh, things basically while working as well so this is what you need to prepare and everything you need to do so this is about how your career path but let's move back towards sap software uh, architect professional c02 certification so there would be multiple choice multiple response questions is and uh, as I mentioned previously, 10, 10 on a scored question would be asked what is the scoring mechanism that is what is described here 
then these are the domain like uh, from which section they are going to ask how, ma how many percent of the question basically the weight is not number of question rather its weight is would be given highest to the design for new solution so that is the highest but as you can see almost everything is uh, around 25 percent so you should focus everything and equally as I mentioned previously this is the detailed level or uh, description is given for uh, each domain like there are six five to six statement uh, they have given what you need to understand and what you uh, have to know for this passing the certifications and then these are all so it's a quite big uh, it's not a small so that is why it is like exhaustive certificate and the uh, architect architect is not a person who know each and every technology in depth correct so if you have read more books about software architect you should have a broad knowledge across various technology and you should be able to design a solution which fit uh, which you can provide using various combining various technologies having an in-depth knowledge a single technology or single domain would not help you to become an architect so that is why you see that sub uh, this syllabus is very huge for the certificate because it's a broad knowledge is expected around this IWS solution architect or domain and they are keep adding new technology and then later they have provided which all technologies which you need to focus like in analytics world what do you need to at least know about this then uh, in integration how you would be doing how do you do business application like Alexa correct so similarly Google home uh, it, it would be uh, then blockchain then cloud financial management compute container so as if you have been to been the industry from long time then you would be knowing all this term correct so it's not that uh, uh, thing but the syllabus is very large uh, it would take time to learn those things so please download this PDF go through this detail and uh, multiple times go through this while preparing for your certification because we may be adding more and more FAQ around this questions uh, this uh, certification exam correct so this is what uh, this entire PDF which is available kind of thing so that's all about the certification and I won't go through all this question I'll just wanted to let you know like this PDF you can go through this okay and other than that like you can always come to the hadoopexam.com and learn this uh, basically various stuff make sure whenever you access any material your email ID is visible here like you are logged in with this email ID sometimes people have multiple Gmail account or Google account they try to uh, launch the certificate they can see here their email ID but the email ID here which you logged in here they, you can see should match with this and this then only you would be able to access the material because we use the security provided by Google and uh, I know it's a bit uh, complicated uh, to sometimes log in but uh, because people have multiple account but this is the most secure mechanism as you know Google is the world most secure uh, uh, system provider correct so that is what we are using it we don't want to lose your any information so that's why we rely Google on Google to provide all this uh, it's a bit uh, tricky to log in and all this thing sometimes but once you get hold of this then it would become an easy so always keep in mind whenever you log in this email ID and this email ID here it should be same then only you launch your practice paper whatever you are trying to launch that 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 would be uh, basically easy we also provide the annual subscription as well so you can uh, if you want to learn uh, more technology not specific around the year then you can go to the annual subscription as well so that's all thanks thanks for watching I hope you like uh, this session if you understand what uh, we want to provide the detail thanks thanks for helping hadoopexam.com since a, a more than a decade thank you very much we will continue help you guys thank you